fourth, man, we do this every single, uh, I guess every quarter. You could say every three, three or four months, give or take, here on the Real Frequency Show. And joining us on the first New North of 2009, man, I'm pleased to report that the Hami, King yeah. Rain, is in the studio with us you right know. now. What's good, man? Yo, I am doing lovely, man. How are you, man? I'm good. I'm good on the prison. On, as, as usual, as usual, lots going on, lots happening, lots mm -hmm. happening. Mm -hmm. Last time you were here, I think you were here and we were talking about an album, the Nomad album, yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. at the time on, on Columbia. Right, right. You know what right, I'm saying? Yeah. So, are things still in the motion? St things still in motion for that for that particular album, the project as it was, or has that project evolved? Have you moved on to that? Do you have other things going on? What's what is on the plate right now in terms of uh, projects for King Rain? I, I, we got that No Man project is still on the run. So, uh, I remember I went through the Columbia thing. Uh, that was dope, dope experience. And we left Columbia. We, we own the album, so we're going online. Nomad is coming out at the end of the year, but before that, we're teasing y'all with uh, that the whole BP, and that's uh, Looking for Love, Guilty, the reprise that we're going to play tonight, uh, and the Audacity of Hope, and th that's just because we haven't had, I haven't had anywhere for people to actually buy my music. And it's, it's strange, and, that, and that's and that's funny. It, it, it's funny that we're actually having this conversation because this is actually this is actually an interesting conversation because you've been doing music for a while. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. We've we, we've all been going through deals for a while. That's what I'm That'll saying. That'll keep you quiet, you know. And now that I'm out, the, I like I feel free as hell right now. Like I'm just like, yeah, because it's digital, it's online. I'm a computer nerd anyway on the side, on the low. So, you know, it's exciting. I can do everything on my own. I get my artwork from Harold. Harold's crazy, and you know, it's done. So, 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 so this is the movement though in 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 '09 because this this is this yeah. is the thing that's 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 interesting to me. Now is this, it's kind of like the fastest way to not put out your music is to take a record deal. Hell yeah! You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah! If you want your music to not come out, get a, get a major deal. Get a major deal. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and wait for Beyonce to stop putting out records. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what it was. It was like you know, you you know when your budget, you know, you call, you make that call, and then you get all this. Well, we're calling the lawyers, and and we haven't got this signed, and we're waiting for this to come through. It's really just. Hold up because your money is being tied up by something that's making money already. So you can't really get mad. It's, it's business. It's funny because, but this is this is what always happens in our industries. It's like you, you're an independent artist, mm -hmm. and then the perception is that oh, I need the platform that that major person has in order to, in order to achieve success. So you end up chasing that or spitefully kind of looking at the people that do have access to that model thinking like, oh, I wish I was in their shoes or, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. grass always looks greener, but then yeah. when you're in that situation, you're like, damn, I wish I was independent. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I was the manager of the call center and there was a time I was like, yeah, I wish I was on the phone. You know what I mean? For all the hours that I put in, I'm getting paid less than the people that are on the phones. And it's kind of the same thing. But I mean, of course, there's a lot of perks, you know what I mean? And you learn a lot. And I still, I'm still not against a major label, but I mean, um, it's good for getting your stuff out there, you know what I mean? And getting that getting that platform. If you can leave after and do your own thing, especially digitally in this time, you know. There's a whole the thing that the thing that I find with, with major labels is like there's a whole infrastructure there, so you have all the resources exactly, at your disposal. Exactly. It's just a long ass line exactly. to, get to, to, to get to those resources. To get to those resources. You know what I'm that, saying? That's, that's well put. You know what I mean? That's exactly what it is. You have a. Uh, you know, people that are waiting before have been waiting before you. And you, know? you could be at the top of the queue and then get bumped all the way to the back. Cause something happened. Cause something happened. Something happened. Somebody put out a record and they're like, oh my god, we, we gotta put it all behind. It's all it's all excitement and hype, so you gotta keep it you gotta keep yourself excited. I I'll tell you what I am excited about, the audacity of hope. EP, it's it's kind of more single. I know we're calling it EP. Yeah, it's more, it's yeah. more of a single. It's, it's, it's and I like the I like the fact that you got looking for love and and guilty on there because that kind of like that says to me that how strongly you believe in your music. You're not like one of those people that's just like, oh, I did that five years ago. Forget about that. Or, yeah, I did yeah. that ten years ago. Forget about it. It's like yeah. I believe in those songs as part of my history, part of my lineage as an artist. Yeah. And I feel like before you hear Nomad. It's kind of like what you're saying to people. I, I want you to hear this first. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Here, here, this taking it. Here's some old stuff. Here's some new stuff. And um, I think, I think it's a nice precursor to to, to what you have going on. Because I had a chance to listen to some, a, a few little species from the forthcoming <laughs> album. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I can tell you, people. <laughs> I can tell you, people. It sounds real nice.
hanging out with us all show, the one, the only, King Rain. Yeah, let's King Rain it. the Great. <laughs> hey yo, you might know, you might know King Rain. If you don't know the name, man, you might know, you might know his voice from such familiar tracks as Guilty Party. Yeah. As Uptight. Yeah. Uh, as looking for love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, as uh, on the as heard on the Brass Monk album, the Futuristic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All across the board. Peace to Brass Monk. Yeah. What what is going on with Brass Monk, man? Because you're a member of Brass Monk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're also a solo artist. You were a solo artist first. Yeah. But you're also a member of Brass. Mm -hmm. So can you can you tell us what is is there anything happening with Brass right now? Like like what what what's happening? Oh, we're still working together. I mean, we're working on each other's solo projects. You know oh, okay, I mean? okay, okay. So, okay. and we we I mean, we try to get in there almost every day. But I mean, with different, like, we have a whole team. It's not just Brass, and it's like we have a whole music team. You know, Socks and everybody involved. So, you know, when we make beats, I might call S for a hook to sing. You know, S got his new. Uh, 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 Richie Hennessy stuff coming out, you know. He got a lot of projects. He got a lot of he projects coming out, and he's a beast, you know. I'm on the melodies and all that, so we kind of just, and then I'll get called in for different things, percussion or writing the hooks or putting a verse on, and so we kind of just working like that for now. Uh, matter of fact, uh, uh, Jilla did the master for tonight because I even had the joints mastered that I was bringing y'all tonight. So basically, <laughs> what you're saying is whether or not it's late or you know, month. Yeah, you don't have an album coming out right now we don't have any it's always brass it's, it's always it, family it's always gonna it's be always the, and, and we most likely we most likely might put out another video but we put out one already you know what i mean and we kind of let that bubble and because we already had so much going on outside of that i was with sony at the time too so crazy it's, you know when, yeah, when i first joined so it was like there was so much going on so it's like it's sort of like a hiatus but a healthy one you know no doubt no doubt but i i think those things are all, all clear because i think at this point in the game there's no need for all the like. Everybody recognizes that you're not depending on this one thing to be everybody's meal ticket. No, no. Everybody no. is their own individual, and they have their own projects going on. Yeah, and we're all kind of virtuosos. We all got all these hidden talents, so we're just trying to bring those out on different people's not projects. Not for long. Not, yeah, for long. <laughs> not for long. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Hopefully not for long. No, no, no. You see it happening already. You know. I mean, look at Socks. He's killing him on the singing thing, and you know, my man was just saying he used to laugh when Socks first started singing. You know what I mean? And now you gotta kinda take him seriously. Will you hear cause you know what I mean? Nah, I'm still not gonna do it. I ain't there. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, uh, I mean, like, you got a good voice, man. You should sing. <sighs> not for a whole album. No. Maybe I'll just tell you. But I think I mean <laughs> melody melody is melody. I'll be the rapper that puts as melody to it for now. But you know but, I mean? but but Hip hop is so much about that naturally. I think I think rappers write with melodies sometimes so unconsciously without yeah, even, without yeah. even without even knowing that you're writing a melody. Yeah. It just feels like that's the way that it turns out. I mean, in your head you're writing words, but when you're spitting it, it, it spits out in the form of a melody. Exactly. Yeah, the you transition is, is easy. You know, especially when you listen to a lot of different types of music, you naturally will start your verse like you know what I mean with that in that same pocket where the, a melody would have fit in. You know what I mean? No, no doubt, no doubt. I also think you have one of the most unique voices too, man. I, I mean, period, in hip-hop. You know what right, I mean? Definitely in the city, for sure. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't think there's any mistaking when King Rain is on the microphone. I suppose <laughs> there, there's no, you're not getting King Rain mixed up with Hove. You're not getting King Rain mixed up with, not saying Hove is a bad person to be mixed up with. I'm just saying. <laughs> but it wouldn't not, help my career. But, but I mean, but a lot of people don't have a problem if somebody says, if, if they sound exactly like Jay-Z, they almost see it as a good thing. You know I, don't, what I, mean? I don't. I know you don't. I know you don't. But, I, but, but, but it's one of those things that, that you don't have to force. It's just mm -hmm. natural. It's the voice mm -hmm. that you were born with. Mm -hmm. So I, I think there's a natural element to the way that you express yourself, too, because of that. Because it's not forced. It's, you, know, you know the kind of voice that you have, and you use it accordingly. You're very conscious of that, mm -hmm. of your voice as a tool and, and as an instrument. You know what I'm saying? At least the way I, I hear it in your music, anyways. You're very, you, let, you don't let the beats kind of overtake things you don't ever let the lyric overtake things you kind of like let it it's like a balance it's an instrument kind of, yeah yeah you gotta look it at fits your voice. within the track yeah you gotta look at your vocals like and like you're just adding another instrument you know what i mean that's no how I, that's how i approach it every time so that's why the minimalist way that i do some things is because of that because sometimes the beat is so dope like on the audacity i didn't feel like i had to be like similar to that because it was like the beat is already there and Absolutely. i hate when people do that and I'm like, you, you got to leave space to let things breathe and people enjoy the actual joint. You know, I understand you got lyrics, I understand you're dopest and you got money and you got to be one or whatever, but <laughs> give it space so people can digest everything. Real, real, real.
real, real.